Welcome back to Kim's Creations. I am on a fall foliage streak, um, simply because I was just in New England and was totally inspired by all the fall colors. They're not usually the colors that call to me, but I do like bright colors. And last night I made a painting, which didn't turn out as bright as I had hoped, and it was a swipe. And I actually got lacing, um, but didn't get very many cells. And the other, there were a couple things that I didn't consider. It's been very long time since I've done a swipe. I think my paints were just a little bit too thick. And I forgot that you mix orange with green, you're gonna get brown. And then I already had brown. So much of my painting is brown, my least favorite color. So um, I thought today what I would do, <clears throat> excuse me, I thought what I would do is do a Fiona flower. And I got these cups, the cups that Fiona uses. I got them from Doris at, I think it's Doris at DF Designs. I will link her information um, below for you. And I'm also going to link Fiona's channel above. Fiona does amazing, uh, amazing, amazing flowers, reverse dip flowers. So this is what I'm going to attempt. Same color palette, same colors. Um, <clears throat> it is going to be a little bit different, though, because each one of my paints has silicone in it. So I may or may not torch it, depending on how it looks. Or I may end up doing two pieces, torch one and not do and not torch the other and see which one I like the best. So I haven't done a Fiona flower using her own cup. So let's go check it out. Wish me luck. Okay, we are back. I am working on an, a little eight by eight master's touch canvas. Ticked it off on the back. And as you can see, I've put down my base coat of this brown concoction that I have made. All these paints here, the yellow, the orange, the red, and the brown are paints by Montmartre. And my kind of silvery color, what do they call it? Pearl. <laughs> it's Pearl Medium by Vallejo. And my green is Artist Loft Metallic Leaf Green beautiful color. All of the colors have silicone in them because I used them before for a swipe. But this time I am going to try one of Fiona's flower dips. So I am just using a string to try and mark the center of my canvas for myself. There we go. And I'm going to use the cup and and find that middle again. Middle-ish. There. Okay. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Let's do it. What to use first? I think I'm going to start with the yellow. She does this really, really fast. Me, it won't be as fast till I get the hang of this. Get all my colors dripping. Now with the first color, she pretty much always just adds until that First color reaches the bottom. That guy there needs help. Okay, so our yellow's done. Do I put the pearl medium in between or go with the orange? 
I'm gonna add the pearl medium. I'm not gonna add too much though. So when I was just really enthralled by Vermont, New Hampshire, um, absolutely beautiful with the leaves, incredible. Um, went to Maine as well. The leaves hadn't really turned in Maine yet. We started off in Maine, um, but that was okay because we were right on the coast and we went uh, lobstering, which is really cool to kind of see how they do that. And uh, that, it was just such a fun trip, such a fun trip. Then we came down from Vermont into Massachusetts and drove all the way across to the coast there. Went down to Cape Cod, such a beautiful area. I can't imagine how crazy it gets in the summer because it is absolutely beautiful. We took the ferry across uh, over to Nantucket and spent the day out there and learning about the history of the whaling capital of the world as it was back in the day, which was really cool because I had no idea that it was a whaling capital. And did you know that there are great sharks off the beach, great white sharks? off the beach there in Cape Cod. Crazy. Crazy. They had shark warnings. Okay, I'm gonna let that go down. I'm gonna grab my straw. Grab a straw and just blow out that center a little bit. Help that paint go down. Give that a few seconds. Now I'm gonna pick it up and turn it a quarter. Okay. Start with the yellow again. All right. So it went a little screwy on me, but let's see what we can do here. Draw those petals out.
I just uh, dunked that little cup in a bucket of water so I can get the paint off easily. Okay. One of the really cool things about those cups is that there's their scalloped edges so the paint can come in underneath and it just creates um, create some cool patterns in there as well. So, all right, now we're gonna draw in from out. Interestingly enough, I made my paint thinner than I had it before, and now I'm thinking I probably should have kept it that little bit thicker as it was. doing this to fix the center, draw some of that paint out. In the middle, okay, not too bad. Now it's napkin time. I feel like the paint is sliding that way a bit. So I'm just gonna move it over a bit. Canvas got bare right there. Let's fix that. Fix that before we put the napkin on and make it even more bare. I'll fix the rest after. Okay. Here's the napkin. It's just like a single ply napkin. And we are going to, I guess I'll do it like this. Gently pat it down so the paint adheres. I think we're good. And now for the really messy part. Get my trash can ready. Gently lift the corners. Oh, I am seeing some incredible cell action on this. I'm just gathering up all these areas. <gasps> oh my God. It's awesome. It's awesome. It is awesome. I'm so excited. I can't wait to show Fiona. <laughs> I'm not going to torch it. It already has silicone in it. It would just probably make it really, really, really crazy. And I am loving it just the way it is. So that's it. That is it. 
I'm gonna bring you guys in for the close-up on this. I'm so excited, okay. Gotta do the little dance, finger dance. All right, let's get in to this beauty. I'm gonna come around to my far side. Look at that. Look at how awesome that is. I am so excited for this. All right, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, if you try it with the silicone in it, tag me because I'd be so curious to see how yours turn, it's, uh, turn out. Um, give it a shot. I am so surprised. All right, I have to say a big, huge thank you to Fiona for inspiring me to give this a try. And uh, yeah, please go check out her channel. I will again link it um, up above. And uh, until the next time, bye for now.